What's up? It's Michael from Kickstart Arts. I'm an artist educator. I'm also a musician and a songwriter. I'm gonna show you on this video today uh, how to use a really simple and free software. It's called BandLab. Software that you can download as an app onto an iPhone or as an app onto an Android phone. It's really, really simple. We're gonna make an eight bar composition just with a few instruments. So get comfortable, grab your phone, let's get started. First thing you're going to do is locate the BandLab app wherever you get your apps, B-A-N-D-L-A-B. -A -A and there it is. You'll need either a Gmail account, a Facebook account, or a cell phone number to uh, create your BandLab account. They're gonna ask you a few questions about your preferences of instruments and maybe what kind of style the music will be, you know, hip hop. I'm gonna put some pop, electronica, and then we're going to create a new project. So press create or the white plus sign in the red circle at the bottom. There are many ways to start a project uh, and you can definitely explore these at some point. But today we're going to focus on the MIDI library, which is the one in the green box. So press MIDI. Inside the MIDI library, you will see at the top a whole bunch of different instruments that you can start your project with. I'm going to use drums today because that is the simplest way to demonstrate how to use the system. Once I'm inside, I can preview the sound of the different drums by pressing the plus sign beside its name. I'll start with brush kit. That's pretty good, but let's try another one. I won't be too particular about it. Great, I'm gonna choose classic rock. I just double tap where it says classic rock and it opens the instrument. I can just play the instrument by tapping the buttons. I encourage you to do the same, but for today, we're gonna to focus on using the grid. We can locate the grid by tapping the small pencil icon to the far right of our screen. The grid. On the far left, you will see all of the components of the drum kit. At the top, you'll see a reddish line that represents one bar of music. We're going to make a one bar drum pattern and loop it later. By pressing any of the small squares inside the grid, you can start to create a pattern like this. And then I press the play button to hear that. And then the button beside the play button to bring it back to the beginning. And now I'm gonna add a new element. And press play. How you doing? You okay? I know it's a lot of information but I'm sure you're following along. Don't hesitate to rewind, take a look at the video again, see what you need to do, okay? On to the next step. I'm happy with my pattern, so I'm going to press done in the bottom right-hand corner. I'm now back to this page. I want to get to the arranging window where I'll be able to turn my one bar pattern into an eight bar loop. To get to the arranging window, I look to the top right corner beside the letter Q and press the arrow pointing down. Welcome to the arranging window. The blue square that you see is the one bar drum pattern that I just made in the grid. When I tap the blue square, it will give me a menu from which I can choose loop. When I press loop, a blue menu shows up at the bottom, allowing me to loop it four, eight, or 16 times. We're going to choose eight. Then we're going to press the return button at the bottom and then press play. I'm finding the tempo or the speed or the beats per minute to be a little bit fast for my mood right now. So I'm going to go into settings, which is the button at the top of your screen, just to the right of the pencil icon. The tempo is right now set at 120. I'm going to press the minus button to the left and bring it down to about 100 and then press play. 
I like it, and now I'm going to press the button to the left of the pencil at the top to come back to the arranging window. And once you have also completed your eight bar loop, you're going to press the button at the top left corner, the arrow pointing inside the rectangle to say that you are finished. It will ask you if you want to save or discard your work. You're going to save your work and title it whatever you want. And then be sure to check the green check mark in the top right corner. Once you are looking at your track in your projects, your final task is to press to the right the three dots and invite collaborators. Here you will input your teacher's email or BandLab username. All right, let's look at our checklist of tasks. First, you're going to find the BandLab app, download it, and set up an account. After you create a project, you're going to choose MIDI from the green box. Then you're going to select an instrument you want to work with. Then you're going to compose in the instrument grid. Next, loop for eight bars in the arrangement window. Save and share with your teacher. And most importantly, have some fun. I hope that was helpful. I hope you managed to make an eight bar composition. And I hope you got comfortable using BandLab. If you upload to any kind of platform, feel free to share it with the Kickstart Arts Twitter account. You'll see it at the end of this video. Thanks for tuning in. I hope to see you again soon.